Good evening and welcome to 16 by 9 The Bigger Picture. He is the great Muslim hope and he's living the Canadian dream. Nazim Kadri is the first Muslim to play for one of hockey's most beloved teams, the Toronto Maple Leafs. So when this rising star hits the ice, his most important goal could be breaking down barriers. Here's Greg Ross with the story. It's a dream shared by so many young Canadians in rinks across the country Kids barely old enough to walk are picking up sticks and taking to the ice. All right. Oh. And from the start, from the earliest slips and falls, they want to be just like their heroes that play on the game's biggest stage, the National Hockey League. For the kids at this rink, it's clear who that hero is. What does that say? Kadri. You know, I'm pretty lucky. I'm pretty blessed to be in this position. 20-year-old Nazim Kadri from London, Ontario, a dreamweaver on ice. Ladies and doesn't start with Nazim. It starts a generation earlier with his father and not with slap shots and saves, but bullets and bombs. Myself and my two other brothers, we were born in Lebanon and, and you know, at that time there was a lot of civil war. Lebanon has been a flashpoint for Middle East violence ever since Sam Kadri's family fled to Canada back in 1968. He'd never even seen a hockey rink before coming here. But it didn't take long before this boy from the desert fell in love with Canada's frozen sport. I love the game. I remember I'd find a stick and somehow I'd tape it together. You know, if it was cracked, someone would throw it out, but I'd tape it together. we play road hockey. But no matter how badly Sam wanted to hit the ice, financial reality hit harder. And my father didn't get a chance to be educated. When he came here, he, he worked as, as a custodian. And four other kids later, it was pretty hard to uh, play any other any any sports to be honest with you let alone hockey which is you know very expensive and very time consuming expensive and time consuming but Sam's dream endured if only in a promise to himself that one day his son would get a chance to play the game he loved so much it just stayed in my head and you know when when my kids came along i said you know that's a sport that i definitely want to want to want to put them in so Sam worked hard i don't tech <laughs> building a business from the ground up so his children could follow their dream. You know, my dad gave me everything that he didn't have. He's worked, you know, maybe harder than me to get me at this spot. A generation after four-year-old Sam's dream was extinguished, four-year-old Nazim rekindled it. And from the moment he first hit the ice, the kid had talent. I've always thought, uh, just like probably a million other dads, right, that, uh, you know, your son's going to gonna make it to uh, to the NHL one day but I mean he was always uh, you know gifted as a as a player he's always one of the better players and uh, yeah I, I kind of seen it it was pretty hard to miss Nazim was a star at every level from local tournaments to the international stage a career on fast forward and then in the summer of 2009 a moment that changed everything the Toronto Maple Leafs are pleased to select from the London Knights of the Ontario Hockey League, Nazem Kadri. When they called his name up and, well, for a mom being so, you know, thinking, okay, I can still take care of my baby boy, I cried. <laughs> it was very emotional, very emotional. Like, I mean, you know, I felt myself, like for that, you know, that split second when I seen him with that jersey going out there, like I, I probably could have lived an eternity in it, in that second, you know just watching that. I've always wanted to, to you know, do my best, not, not only for myself, but for him too. But the NHL is a brutal fight for survival. You have to earn your spot on the team every year. In his first year, Nazim didn't make the cut. This year, the pressure to perform was intense from the start. Suddenly, this 19-year-old kid was under the media microscope. The newspapers criticizing his play calling him a baby, a failure, a disappointment. Even Maple Leafs coach Ron Wilson was down on him. I'm not going to wait for him to uh, 
to get going. But Nazem refused to let the critics crush his dream. I think I have the personality. You know, I think I have the, the mental toughness to play in this market. It's not a life and death audition for you. This is what, it, what it's all about. It's uh, you know becoming a full-time professional player. And you know I'm almost there. I, I can taste it. And you know I don't want it to slip away from me. But the road to the NHL is treacherous. One minute you're flying down the ice. The next you're slammed into the boards. And only weeks after playing in front of packed crowds for the Maple Leafs, he was exiled to the minor leagues. You know, obviously, I, I just need some work to do. I'm a little rough around the edges, but you know, that's uh, nothing the AHL can't fix. I got to spend my time in the minors and, and work my way back up. Five weeks later, the pendulum swung again, and Nazim Kadri stepped back onto the biggest stage in hockey. But in the NHL, the pressure never lets up. The team has been losing, and everyone is pinning their hopes on Nazim to turn the team around. No matter how good or bad his game, Nazim can always count on one thing, his family. I know what you really think. I think that's, that's part of the reason why I've done so well, uh, to be honest, just because everyone's looking out for me, everyone's got the best interest for me, especially my parents and my family. Push, push, push. And win or lose for the players in this locker room, Nazim is always a hero. Do a jump? Yeah, you're going to beat them all. If he wasn't a famous hockey player, I don't think I would be playing hockey. He inspired me a lot. You guys uh, try to play like Nazim? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For the first time, they have a hero to call their own. There have only been a few NHLers from the Muslim community, none in Nazim's class. His aunt and uncle say he's changing the face of the game. It's really become a lot more diverse. It's it's cool to see that, actually. Well, I'm sure you're going to see a lot of uh, Muslim kids uh, taking up the sport. And for a kid who knows exactly what it's like to be different, being a hero brings a lot of pride and gratitude. Sometimes I, you know, I go home late at night and I just think about how, how fortunate I am and you know, how God's blessed me with this talent. You know, definitely for the young, um, you know, Muslim kids out there, it's it's just an honor to be their role model. From the most unlikely beginnings, Sam Kadri and his family are living the most Canadian of dreams. We're proud Muslim Canadians, right? I mean, you know, that love the game of hockey.